Hi, my name is Stephen. Welcome back to another tutorial. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when next I upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make $40 to $70 an hour using just Canva. So that means you don't need to know how to use any design softwares at all like Illustrator or Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how people do this and how you can copy the same method to make extra $40 to $70 an hour in your spare time. So without wasting too much of your time, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to head over to Fiverr.com. We're going to use Fiverr as the source of traffic. So this is where we're going to be finding the clients that you're going to be designing the social media posts for. So head over to Fiverr.com. And then from here, all you need to do is to type Canva. So we're going to see the type of services that people offer for Canva. And here you can see that people are making a lot of money just designing templates for clients or designing social media posts just using canva you don't need to use any design software thousands of templates are available for you to use you can really grade this in less than five minutes so let me show you what people are doing and how you can copy this method to make extra 40 to 70 dollars an hour in your spare time so let's check some of this out let's take a look at this one for example so this person is a level two seller you can see here and they said I will design anything in Canva. So let's see what they have to offer. Okay, great. So right now you can see that this person right here already have 208 reviews and these are all five star reviews. So let's see the basic plan here. So you can see the basic plan is $39 for one design and that design is going to include one Instagram post and Facebook post, Pinterest post and LinkedIn post. And the good thing about this is that you don't really need to do much at all. So the client is going to provide you with all the details that you are going to need. You can see the client will provide the photos, the test. So pretty much everything you are going to use will be provided by the client. The only thing you need to do is to put all this together to deliver the design. You can see here that this person charges extra $5 if you want them to look for pictures for you to find like a stock images or so. They will charge you extra five dollars of course you can grade your own prices this is just what this person is charging i'm using this profile as an example so now let's head over to the profile again so if you look over here you can see that this person currently have nine orders in queue so let's assume that these nine orders are the basic plan so we can get an idea or roughly how much this person will be making so let's use our calculator here and buy so you can see $351 went into be cashed out. So let's go ahead and check out another service here and see what these people are grading as well. So you can see all these services right here. Let's click on this one over here. So this person said, I will grade Canva Instagram template for a beautiful feed. So what this means is that once you get this template, you can use this template over and over again. And this person is charging almost $80 an hour. So this is $78 an hour. And I'm pretty sure you can grade six instagram post template in one hour so if you grade this six instagram post in one hour that means you'll be making more than 70 dollars an hour and then if all these orders here are for the standard plan they'll be making 92 dollars an hour and here you can see that this person have 12 orders in queue so there's 12 people waiting to pay either the basic plan standard or the premium plan for this person to grade this template for them and you can see that this person also has 323 five star reviews so they pretty much know what they are doing and it's not that difficult you can do this as well so let me show you and here you can see what the person is doing it's pretty much using templates that is already available in canva to create all these things so you can find these templates over there and then you can just change the text and colors to match your client's color or branding and you can see here it's pretty much putting shapes and colors and images together to come up with the design so it's not that difficult so i'm going to show you how you can do this in canva so to get started all you need to do is to head over to your browser and type wplifestyle.com forward slash canva and then hit enter and this is going to take you to the uh, canva.com website this is not an affiliate link i just like to keep track of how many people that goes to this link using this video so i like the stats i like the statistics so if you want to go to this website please use the link so i know how many people that actually went to this website through this video so i like to keep the stats and once you're on this website right here all you need to do is to sign up if you don't have an account already if you already have an account 
you can go ahead and click on login but if you don't have an account you can go ahead and click on sign up so i'm going to click on sign up and sign up for a new account so that i can show you how you can do this step by step and then from here you are going to choose how you want to sign up you can use your email or you can use your or facebook or your google account so i'm going to use my google account just to make it easier so i don't have to fill any form so i've gone ahead and use one of my google account to sign in and then i'm going to skip this and then from here all you need to do is to click over here on templates and let's assume that we want to create an instagram post for a client and then all we need to do is to click on instagram post over here but if you want to create like a facebook post or facebook cover so whatever you want to create go ahead and click that here based on what your client is looking for but for this tutorial i'm going to just do instagram post and then from here you can see all the pre-made templates that you can use you can see all these templates are really really nice and well designed so let's say you like uh, this template for example you can go ahead and use this template you can see that this person right here is making a lot of money just using free templates so if we go back over here to canva you can see this is free and this is similar to the other templates that i was showing you on fiverr so from here you can go ahead and choose whichever templates that you think that will make it easy for you to create the post that you want to create for your client but for this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create everything from scratch and how you can also deliver it to your client so we're going to click on blank Instagram post. So from here, all you really need to do is to put together the, the images and tests and products or whatever your clients have given to you. Just put them together and make them look nice. In this case, I don't have anything from clients. So I'm going to pretend that I'm creating a post for maybe a beauty brand or something. Maybe a beauty brand. Yeah, let's do beauty brand so I can show you how we can do this so all i need to do here you can actually go ahead and take a shape so from here you can pick any type of shape that you want if you click on the shape it's going to put it right here inside your canvas and then you can click on it to change the color from here you can choose any color that you want or you can add your own color just by typing in the color over here so let's say i want to use a different color so i use my color picker here i'll grab this color I'll copy the hex code and then I'll paste it in here and now you can see I have that color here so I can go ahead and use that color so that's how you use uh, the color that your client is going to give to you but in this case I don't need uh, this square in here because of the design that I want to do so I'm going to delete this I'm just going to use the default background that is here of course if you don't want to use this default background you can also use the block as a background just resize it to the size of your canvas and then you can use it as your background so let's say I just use it for my background and then I'm going to give it a different color and then you can lock it by clicking on this lock button here that way you can move it around you can continue designing on top of it and then if you want to make changes on it again you can click on it and then you can unlock it from here okay so like I said I'm not going to use uh, the square as my background I'm just going to use the uh, normal background that is here another thing you can do is also go to templates here and then you can search for the type of template that you want to create so in this case i said i will be creating a post for a beauty brand so i'm going to go in here and search for beauty and then it's going to show me all the templates that we have here for a beauty brand so if you see any of them that you like you can go ahead and use that template so let's say i like uh, this template here for example i can go ahead and click on the template all you really need to do is to replace these images with your client's image or your own image and then you can double click on this test and then you can pretty much edit the test to uh, whatever you want you can edit the test you can see so that's pretty much all you need to do but i don't want to uh, use a template i want to create everything from scratch so because i want to create everything from scratch i'm going to click on undo over here you can click on ctrl z so now you can see that i have a blank canvas here with white background but let's just assume that your clients have given you all the images and the colors that you need and then you are going to take one of their colors and then you are going to use it as the background so i'm going to paste this color in here and then i'm going to use it as the background 
and then now I'm going to use one of the images given to me by the client but I don't have any images so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to photos over here so if you already have an image from your client and then you can upload those images you go to upload here and then you can click on upload file or you can just drag and drop any image in this space right here and then you can use that image in your design but in this case I don't have any image from any client so I'm going to go to photos over here to see if I can find a free photo that I can use over here in this case what I can do here is also search for beauty photos and it's going to show me all the beauty photos now you can see all the beauty photos that I have here you can see that they're all pro version so you need to have a pro version to use these images so what you can do in this case you can see some of these photos that you see here they are free you can use any of these photos that you, if you want and then the thing with Canva is you can see here that I can enlarge this photo to fit my canvas and you can see it's a little bit bigger than the canvas so anything outside the canvas you can see here is not going to show in the design then I can bring this close like this if I want or maybe zoom it in a little bit and then I can move it up like that another way to find free pictures is to go over here to more and here we are going to look at the apps that are available for you you can see apps and integrations and this is pixels and pixabay so pixels and pixabay are uh, this website that you can go to and get free images they provide free images so all I'm going to do is to click on one of them it doesn't really matter which one they they both have like really really big library of image that you can get free images for so I'm going to click on pixels over here and now I'm going to go over here to pixels I'm going to type my beauty and if you can't find the image you are looking for here you can go back here and then you can try pixel bear and then you're going to type in beauty here as well and now you can see all the pictures here so let's say I like this one right here I'm going to go ahead and click on this and what else I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this for example I'll duplicate this page and then I'm going to delete this uh, picture that I have over here I'm going to use this one for this first design and then another thing to note is that when you click on any picture or any shape so let's say from here if you click on this picture it's going to come in like this but if you drag the picture and put it here is going to become the background of your canvas also keep in mind that when you're doing the design it's not going to take this long to do the reason why it looks like it's taking long is because I'm taking my time to explain how everything works for you so you know how to do the design and how you can achieve great designs in here without wasting too much time so I, I wanted to explain a few things for you so you can do this on your own so you can make extra money on your spare time so now that I have this in here, I'm going to scale it. I think this is good. And then what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go over here and click on elements. And then I'm going to bring in maybe a square. I'm going to bring this one in. I'm going to stretch it like this, maybe like this, not all the way. And then I'm going to put it here. I'll reduce it like this a little bit so you can see uh, the, the face of the lady in the background like that and then I'm going to change the color to white okay so that's looking good so far and then what I can do now is that I'm going to add a test add some details add some information here so I'm going to go over here and find the test so if you go to a test here click on test and then you can add your heading add your subheading or add a body test or you can use the pre-designed test that they already have for you here you can just use the test so I'm going to use one of these just to speed up the uh, design process so I think I like this one here I'm going to click on it and now you can see that we have it here and then I can resize this to fit inside the white box like this and then of course you can go ahead and change it to whatever that you want and then if you want to change the test just double click on it and then you can change the test to whatever that you want and then if you want to change this test you can double click on it as well and change the test the same goes with this one let's say you want to move just one of them instead of all of them you can go ahead and click on it and go over here and ungroup them so once you ungroup them like this now you can move individual ones around like this you can move or resize maybe individual one if you want to resize any of them just click on this uh, arrow here and then you can resize it like this or you can use this plus or minus button here to resize it or you can just click on this font size here 
and then you can select the font size. you can just select 60 and once it's like this at this middle arrow right here is actually to narrow it down or space it out like this if you bring it close like this it's going to look like this or you can space it out like this so now that i've shown you how this works i'm going to go ahead and change the text that we have in here okay so i've gone ahead and changed the text i just changed the text to the art of beauty the ultimate skincare and then here you can put some information about the skincare blah 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 of course you can change the color if you want just click on this test color over here and then you can choose uh, the color that you want but i want that to be in black so i'm going to leave that black color over here so what i'm going to do again is i'm going to go to elements uh, design is just pretty much putting uh, shapes together and then i'm going to take a line and then i'm just going to uh, put that line here just for decoration just for fun you can see i'm just going to leave that line over here and then if you have the skincare product that this person in this picture is using that you want people to see you can put that product somewhere here so let's go and look for a skincare product so i'm going to go back to more and then i'm going to go to pixubay okay so right here you can see i have a lot of uh, products to choose from i'm just going to choose this one right here I don't know what this product is but i'm going to choose it anyways and if you have the pro version of this uh, canva you can click on effects and then you can remove the background here so you can remove the background of this image and then you can uh, go over here to elements and then you can pick a square and then use that square as the background of this image that way you can use the exact brand color of uh, this particular uh, design that we are doing here this particular brand in this case i'm going to use this picture like this i'm just going to crop it a little bit and then once i'm done i'm going to click on done over here and now you can see what we have and then i'm going to resize it a little bit and then maybe i'll put it here so so far this is the design that we have if you want to see the face of this lady a little bit more maybe you can just uh resize this image then we can move it out a little bit like this and then if you want you can add some other elements like maybe you can go here to elements and then here we can type patterns so you type patterns here and then you're going to see all these patterns here and then you can go ahead and choose any of them that you like so i'm going to choose this one is free so i'm going to make this a little bit big then i'm going to drag it out of the frame and then i'm going to change the colors here so this one, this the, the middle one here is the door. So once you change the color, you can see the color reflect immediately. You can see which color you are changing. And then this one here, maybe I'm going to change it to this color that we have. And then the other one, I'm going to change it to black as well. And then it's going to look like this. And then if this looks too bright, what you can do is you can click on it and go over here to transparency. And then we can reduce that a little bit just to fade it out. A little bit to match the design that we have and then if you like that design there you can leave it like that and then if you want to duplicate it you can click on duplicate and then maybe you can drag it and use it here as well if you want so now you can see the design that we have you can see that it's not looking bad what you can do now is to click on this duplicate page and then you can duplicate this design that way you will keep the same uh, the same vibe the same look uh, keep the consistency going and then you can just easily uh, change this image that we have over here so you can see that this one have like a whole different vibe compared to this one but obviously you don't have to uh, do the same thing you can just uh, do come up with like a different design this is just me giving you an example i don't want this uh, i don't want this uh, tutorial to be so long so this is exactly how easy it is to create a social media post uh, using canva and this is just creating it from scratch of course if you want to speed up the process you can just use the templates that are already here for you i just wanted to create this from scratch so i can show you how easy it is to put this together by yourself so now that we have the design let's say you just want to use a template to complete the rest of the design all you need to do is to click on add new page over here and that is going to add a blank canvas with the same background and then you can go over here to templates and then you can search for beauty templates and then you find the templates that you want just to find like a different kind of vibe or like different design that will still go with what you already have so you can go ahead and click on this one for example 
and you can see like the different design that they have over here maybe you like this one you can go ahead and click on it so now you can see that it has like a different background all you need to do is to click on that background and choose your background color and then you can change these colors to maybe black to match your design i can change this one to white and then we can change the text over here to black color as well so you can see how easy it is to change stuff around so if you go back over here you can see that the font that we're using here is different from the font that we're using here so here this one is using laura let's see this one is using laura so let's see what we're using here. you can see this one is using leaks button and then what we need to do now is to come here and then we can go to fonts and then we can choose the same font so that we can keep the same design and then over here as well we can change the text to see we are using cooper here we'll go here click on this one go to titles and then we're going to choose cooper and we're going to do the same here as well and we're going to choose cooper so now you can see that we have a consistent design of course in here you can see that we have a video here you can replace that with your own video or your own image let's say we just like this image right here we can just grab this image and then we can just put it in here or maybe we like this one right here we can just grab it and put it right here you can see that the image have now replaced the video we just have an image here and we don't have video anymore now you can see how easy it is to redesign a template and then you can also copy this uh, pattern that we have over here if you want you can just duplicate it and bring it down to this one and then you can add it here as well if you want just to make the design look the same and then we can click on it and change this color because this color is now blending in with the background we can now change this color to white and now you can see uh, the design here as well so now you get the idea i'm not going to design anymore you can see we already have three this is how fast you can really design stuff inside Canva. Obviously your own design is going to be a lot faster. The reason why this one took longer is because I was just showing you how to do all this uh, step by step. But once you learn this, you can now design a lot faster. You can get this done in less than 30 minutes. If you just come in here, you already know what you are doing and then you start designing right away. You can get it done in less than 30 minutes. And then once you finish, you can go over here and click on download. So depending on the type of file that you promise your client on your post on Fiverr. So if we go over here, you can see this person said that they're going to deliver the design in JPEG, PNG and PDF. So if that is what you promise your client, and then you're going to go over here. So you're going to save it three times to save three different type of files. So this is how you can download the templates if you're offering a service like this where you have to provide jpeg png and pdf but let's assume you are going to provide a template for your client just like how we went in here and then we took this design and then we customize it so once you provide a template for your client they will be able to go into that design and make the changes maybe they don't like this black color anymore they want to change it to a different color they can easily come here and change it to white instead of paying you to do it because you already created the template for them and they can change this text to white if that's what they want so that's what template is for if that's what you are providing for your client all you need to do is go over here and click on share so once you click on share here and from here it's going to ask you the type of file that you want to share so you want to make sure that you are sharing this as a template and then once you click on it and then you can copy the link so now that we've copied the link, now you are going to go ahead and paste that link uh, somewhere. I don't know, in your email or something and send it to your client. Or maybe you can just share it as a, a Google Doc file. So let's say you are sharing it as a Google Doc file, for example, you can go to Google Docs. And then from here, we are going to create a file. All you need to do here is you are going to click on blank canvas. And then here, if we paste that uh, URL here, you can see that this is really, really long. So this is what you are going to send to your client. So this is the only way that I know you can share the link by just sending this link as an email or you can just use another program that allow you to insert a link and then you can insert this link in that program and then share it with your client. But if you're working with clients on Fiverr, I'm pretty sure Fiverr has a way you can insert a link without pasting like all this link in there for your client. So you can write a test like this, click here to download the template inside fiverr and then you are going to click on link and then you are going to paste that link in here and then once you paste it you are going to click on apply now you can see that this test is now a link this is much more cleaner now the only thing that your client is going to see is this click here to download 
so once your client go to the link this is how they're going to receive the template and then they're going to click on use template and once they click on it, it's going to log them into their own Canva account to edit that template. If they don't have an account, they will have the option to create an account. Now you can see that this will now say copy of sample post. And it's showing this because I'm logged in in the same account. So what they can do is they can make edit to it. Maybe they don't like this color. They can go over here and change the color to maybe this color for example. Now you can see that this change will only affect their own copy. Of the template is not going to affect the original template you can see this is the original template it's not going to make changes to it so this is how easy it is to share a template with your client after the job is done okay guys that's it for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when next upload a video thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time